Okay, before we get started on moles, let's first do a little review on isotopes. So let's say that we have three atoms, and I'm just going to call them X, Y, and Z, and they have the following subatomic sub particles, number of neutrons listed, number of protons listed, and number of electrons listed. Okay, so look at those three and say which two atoms are isotopes of one another. All right, think about that. How do you know which are isotopes? The answer is that you look for two that have the same number of protons. So the ones that have the same number of protons are X and Z. So the answer is X and Z. All right, the number of neutrons just tells you which isotope it is. And the number of electrons in this case is balancing, but the number of electrons does not tell you if they're isotopes or not. Okay, so um, another question is what are the chemical symbols for X, Y, and Z? So in order to know what those are, you simply go to your periodic table and look up the atomic numbers for things that are 15 and 16. So 15 is phosphorus, so Z is phosphorus, and X is phosphorus, those were two isotopes of phosphorus, and 16 is sulfur. So in order, X, Y, and Z will be PSP, which is choice A. Okay, the mole, this is our introduction to the mole, we're only just barely introducing it here in this chapter, and we will talk about it more later. But the mole, as we've said when we talked about units, is the SI unit for amount of a substance. Okay, and, and one mole of a substance is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd numbers of that substance. Okay, so if you're talking about atoms, it's that many atoms. If you're talking about molecules, it's that many molecules. You could be talking about bananas. So one mole of bananas is... 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd bananas. And that number is also known as Avogadro's number, which is abbreviated capital N sub capital A. And atomic mass is given in AMUs, whereas molar mass, like one mole of, a, of something, is given in grams per mole, but they are the same number. Okay, so the atomic mass for something is the same as the molar mass if you're talking about one atom. If you're talking about molar mass of a compound, then you add up all the atomic masses for the constituent parts. In other words, if you have a molecule like CO2, the atomic mass, as written on the periodic table, is in AMU, and for carbon, it's near 12 AMU, and for oxygen, it's near 16 AMU, but when you add up two oxygens before CO2, you get 16 AMU, and the molar mass then could be written as, uh, okay, so this is 44, and the molar mass, and so it could, could be written as AMU, that would be the formula mass, but the molar mass in grams per mole is the same number, 44. So molar mass, um, is the measure of the amount of that substance, a mole of that substance in grams.